Apple checklist is complete. And I'll call tower. Roger. Applejack Tower, Hotshot 11 is ready for takeoff. Spot 7, Mission 31 2. Roger, Hotshot 11, you're clear to lift. Wind is on the nose at 15. Contact Applejack Control on button 2 and airborne. Hotshot 11, Roger. It's the sort of mission the Marines fly daily in CH-46 helicopters. And yet this one's just a little different. In fact, it's a simulation. The first simulation ever to take advantage of a new era of computer-generated image visual systems. The Rediffusion and Evans and Sutherland CT-5. I've got them. I'll call Deadeye. Deadeye Hotshot 11 has Italian Hotshot 24. Roger. Hotshot 11 in flight are cleared to Mountain Eagle and Roadrunner. Hotshot 11, Roger. As these formation sequences show, CT5 is the most operationally capable CGI visual ever developed. Its ability to display very high levels of scene content through wide fields of view means that crews under training receive realistic visual cues. Advanced modeling techniques allow full mission tactical scenarios like these to be practiced in total safety. Hotshot 1-1, Hotshot 2-4 has Mountain Eagle inside. Hotshot 1-1, roger. Outside, shipboard operation scene detail like this helps train pilots for steep mountain landing sites as well as to confined area landing sites, which Hotshot 1-1 is now approaching. 100 feet, looking good. Teaching formation flying and aerobatics is a demanding aspect of today's tactical flight training programs. Formation flight requires that the visual system be capable of displaying multiple moving objects, such as other aircraft. A unique feature of CT-5 is its ability to color blend polygons in the modeled scene. This color blending is used to portray the F-16 afterburners with a high degree of realism. Database surfaces may also be modeled as transparent. As we take a sidelong view of the formation, Notice that the canopies are in fact transparent and that the pilots are visible inside the aircraft. Follow a single F-16 close up as it executes an aileron roll. Because of the high scene capacity of the system, considerable detail may still be seen on the ground below as the F-16 begins its roll. The shading on the fuselage changes to reflect the orientation of the aircraft relative to the position of the modeled sun. These scenarios show a Boeing 707 in a conventional takeoff and landing. Watch how CT-5 is able to manage very small scene detail the windows and control surfaces on the 707 and the expansion strips in the runway are smaller than a pixel in size, yet they behave properly while moving through the scene.
CT-5 can also be used to train ground-based personnel for operations requiring visual acquisition, recognition, tracking and destruction of airborne targets. In these brief scenes, a MiG-27 is identified, tracked and engaged. The ground-to-air missile you see is one of the weapons effects CT-5 can simulate. ground engagements, the visual system's high scene capacity and ability to display multiple moving objects make realistic tactical mission simulation possible. The trees, 30 to 70 feet in height, give the pilot important altitude, speed and distance cues. They also increase the level of difficulty for target detection and engagement. This model of a tank is highly detailed and interesting. More important, however, is the generic desert on which the tank is staged. The desert in this scenario contains an abundance of three-dimensional textural objects, including rocks, small hills, bushes, cacti, buttes, and mesas. In this brief flight, we pursue and overtake the tank. Without the three-dimensional visual cues, the pilot would find it difficult to determine altitude and rate of closure without reference to his instruments. Realistic simulation of a hostile aircraft engagement demands that the visual system maintain scene capacity and resolution while the aircraft are rapidly maneuvering. To realistically represent this flight regime, the visual system must present to the pilot adequate cues to judge altitude and ground speed. We believe that ultimately, texture-like visual cues can be provided in sufficient abundance to support previously impossible tasks, such as nap of the earth flight. Visual cues such as those shown in this scenario are far superior to the simple two-dimensional texture approach used in less sophisticated systems. <laughs> 